Welcome to Backstage Buzz, your one-stop destination for all things tantalizing behind the curtains of fame. The thing with the, with the podcast that he's doing with his brother. Yeah, New Heights. And the, the singing, the singing he did last year and he's doing this year yeah. for the Christmas album. He's doing a song with Jason for this year too. And he was talking about, you know, these things aren't in my wheelhouse. This isn't the kind of stuff I'm really good at. He said, but uh, but I'm learning, I'm making mistakes. And then he turned around and he gave me the quote from, uh, from Edison. He said, Edison didn't fail making light bulbs. He learned how not to make them yeah. until he got it right. Yep. I said, that's, didn't expect that from you, Trav, but I'm there glad to hear that. Cars, big as bars, they got rivers of gold. But the wind goes right through you, no place for the old. When you first took my hand on a cold Christmas Eve, you promised me Broad Street was... Hold on to your Santa hats, folks, because the Kelsey Christmas album is back, and it's about to be a holiday hoot. Christmas tree microphone Ed Kelsey is spilling the beans about his son Travis's latest adventure into the world of music, and trust me, you're going to want to hear this. Picture this, Travis Kelsey, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end, nervously stepping into the recording studio with his older brother Jason. Ed recalls Travis saying, these things aren't in my wheelhouse. This isn't the kind of stuff I'm really good at. But don't worry. Our boy Trav is channeling his inner Thomas Edison, declaring, Edison didn't fail making light bulbs. He learned how not to make them until he got it right. Who knew Travis was a philosopher? Maybe he should add life coach to his resume. But wait. It gets better. Ed is practically bursting with pride as he reveals that Travis is teaming up with Jason again for another holiday hit. Can you imagine the hilarious sibling banter as they try to harmonize? It's like watching two cats fight over a laser pointer, chaotic, but somehow adorable. Jason once told Travis during a phone call, it's like two people fighting, but then they really love each other. Honestly, that sounds like every family gathering ever. Last year, when they recorded their first duet, Travis was all nerves. He admitted, not saying it was good by any means, I'm just saying they made it sound extremely better than what I felt like I left that studio thinking. So basically, we are in for a treat. If you've ever wanted to hear a combination of off-key notes and brotherly love, this is your moment. And let's not forget about the potential surprise guest, Taylor Swift. Jason teased that she might join the fun in the future. Can you imagine the trio? It would be like a holiday concert mixed with a rom-com. So, are you ready to laugh your lungs out as you hear Travis's funny but satisfying voice once more? Will we get more epic brotherly banter? I can already picture Ed in the background, probably shaking his head while trying to keep a straight face. Let me know if you're hoping to see these two brothers belt out some holiday cheer again on the Kelsey Christmas album. Multiple musical notes sparkles. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Backstage Buzz for more hilarious updates on your favorite celebs.